Today, I'm going to be channeling the energy of John Benet Ramsey. John Benet is this adorable little beauty queen who is found beaten and strangled in her home on December 26, 1996. So, John Benet's parents and her brother Burke were the only other people known to be present in the home. Um, at the time of this crime. And even to this day, there have been no charges brought on anyone for the death of this child. So I want to be a voice for Jean Benet Ramsey so that Jean Benet can come through and tell her story. And so that she can receive at least some form of justice for what has been done to her. So now I'm just going to set aside my ego and personal identity. So that I could be a clear channel for the energy of John Benet Ramsey. And I'm going to light this candle in honor of John Benet. And as long as this candle remains lit, I am a channel open for the energy of Jean Benet to come through to tell us what really happened to her. All right, Jean Benet Ramsey. I sat down to do this reading and I was very compelled to get up and grab the Moonology deck. And so I feel like Jean Benet wanted me to start with this one. So I'm just going to start by getting a card out of this deck as a message from Jean Benet to begin this reading. She have for us, Germany. It says, You and your loved ones are safe. Step out of your comfort zone. <sighs> you and your loved ones are safe. This one is full moon in Cancer once again. And I just feel like with this card being that particular sign and the full moon in that sign is just the sense of abandonment. Um, it says you and your loved ones are safe. That's like a mantra that someone who is feeling that way should say, should be telling themselves. And then we got step out of your comfort zone. So with the step out of your comfort zone, the main idea, the north node of what's happened here is that there is this sense of abandonment taking place, a need to feel loved and safe, and just simply the fact that um, there's a sense of stepping out of your comfort zone here. Well, let's see what else comes out. This could make more sense later. 
All right, so I'm going to draw three cards from the Murder Mystery Oracle. So I'm going to shuffle three times, and then I'm going to cut the deck, draw a card, and repeat. There's some kind of strange phenomena involved. Maybe this is where we step out of our comfort zone. Step out of what we think, maybe. Strange phenomena. Okay, let's get the second one. A friend knows something. So strange phenomena is involved and a friend or someone they know knows something. Someone out there knows something. Obviously someone knows something. Important details are not being revealed to the public at this time. So, I think that happens a lot where the public doesn't know a lot of the details of a lot of cases out there. But I think especially in the case of Jean Benet Ramsey, I feel like there are a lot of things that just remain hidden because they're really... The investigation wasn't done that great, at least not to my knowledge. All right. I want to get three of the Rider Waite tarot cards to pick up on the energy of what took place during uh, the event of Joan Benet's death. The moon. That's interesting because we got also that strange phenomena takes place. Because the moon card is really about things that remain hidden and secret. But let's see what else. We had the Page of Wands reversed and the Nine of Pentacles to go under the moon. With this Page of Wands reversed and the Nine of Pentacles next to it, I feel like the energy of those two cards is basically like no one really cared what Jean Benet wanted. Everyone really just wanted this image on the outside of everything being so perfect, but no one really cared what was happening on the inside. No one, yeah, because they were putting out this outside appearance, right? Now I'm going to get three of the Deviant Moon Tarot and see how to clarify with that.
We have the Four of Pentacles. This is a similar energy to Marilyn Monroe in the Marilyn Monroe Tarot reading. But a little bit different, but a lot the same, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So a lot of this outer appearance of what's going on had to do with Jean Benet. And no matter, no one cared what Jean Benet actually wanted. Everyone just wanted what they wanted. Right? All right. So next we have the Ten of Swords. Here's what it looks like. There are a bunch of stabs everywhere. So yeah, but this one came up as a reversed card as well. So I feel like there's there's nothing that can change the um, way that this dynamic was. The thinking of the people involved here. So the third card. Yeah, third card is the devil. Yeah, so I definitely feel like there was something with the whole strange phenomena involved. I think it goes a, little, a lot deeper than we know. Um, but this, that Jean Benet didn't um, get to express in her life the way that she wanted. She was kind of like a puppet for other people to put on this perfect little performance. All right, let's see what else. What happened to you, John and May? Propaganda, fake news. There's, I don't know, there's a lot of strange stuff involved in what we've heard, what we know of this case, like the weird ransom letter and stuff. Propaganda, fake news, you know? Let's see what else. What happened to you, Jean Monnet? Whoa, that was way too many. But the um, ones that are actually popped up that I see right now, there are three. So I'll grab them before I put the rest back. Caregiver. Egotism. And family. So, okay, what happened to you, John? Meeting entrapped. Did someone come over to their house? Was Jean Benet trapped in some way in this situation she couldn't get out of? Hmm. Don't know, don't know. Let's see what else. All right, let's get the other half of that deck. Oops. All right. What happened to you, Jean Benet? That was way too many. Let me pick them up. Oops. Oh. All of them. I think so. Okay. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> All right, Jean Benet. Let's look at these. So we had the landfill. So is there something in the garbage? Something could have been thrown away that 
could have led to some answers in this. And we also got the marriage slash wedding and the aliens card. Hmm. I wonder if there was some kind of commitment to something very strange. Some kind of strange phenomena. Not necessarily aliens per se, but kind of. Kind of like devils. Demons. Okay, so first we got good with assassination, and I feel like, um, I feel like when I first saw that, it was it had to do with what I was saying about the marriage, the commitment to something strange, right? Some kind of strange energy. So anyway, I feel like that strange whatever it is that they're com someone is committed to. Whoever's responsible for what happened to Jean Benet, whatever they are committed to, it was good in their eyes to do this thing, this assassination. I feel like someone's being watched in this situation. It's kind of like a cult, you guys. Okay. We also got the intergalactic travel card, which is very strange since we already got the alien card. But it's not that strange because the intergalactic travel and alien card, in my mind, is very much connected with, like, um, mind control or with, like, um, how do I want to say it? Kind of implanting thoughts into people's heads, right? Kind of like what you would do in a cult. It could just be some really, really strange phenomena involved, right? But it could also be a cult-like strange phenomena where it's like, um, yeah, it's a sense of being watched th through this, some kind of mind control, cult-like idea where it's good to do this kind of thing. Where it's good to do this kind of thing. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, she was a mere child. She was a little tiny beauty queen. Ew, perversion. There was a perversion towards her all along. Something really strange, for sure. Maybe someone watched her gr grow the whole time. Someone who's been watching her grow, for sure. Someone who had some kind of level of contact enough to have some level of control over what went on here. But this, oh God, John Bonnet, I'm so sorry. All right. Okay, well, first, these two felt... We had two come out first, and then two came out at the end. So, at first, the two that came out were the Body Double Deep Fake and the Operation Mockingbird Controlled Media Card. So, we already got the Propaganda Fake News Card, so this is definitely, like, we're being told one thing, but really the truth is another. Um, we're, we also got this card saying that important details are not being 
released to the public at this time. So I feel like there's a really a whole lot that was uncovered that we know nothing about. And there was probably some stuff that was never uncovered. I don't know how affluent that the parents were or what, or what kind of legal proceedings that have taken place regarding this. I do know that, as far as I know, no charges have been brought forth in the case of poor little Jean Benet Ramsey. But we got the affluent and legal proceeding card. So I wonder if the parents are very affluent and they know people in the legal system of that area or something. You know, you know what happens when you're affluent and you know people in certain positions of power. Suddenly things just work out for you in a magical kind of way, right? All right. I think I'm going to see if any messages come out of this before we go here. We got Archangel Michael protection. Prevented from divine or er, prevented from harm, divine intervention. I really feel like Jean Benet was saved by not being here anymore. I'm really sorry to say. That is, in itself is a form of divine intervention. But really what she's saying is that now she's protected. Now she's loved. Even though she may not have always felt those feelings of love. And a feeling of safeness from her family. What else came out? We got the anxiety card. She was always full of anxiety, fear. Like she was scared and panicked all the time. Grip, anchor, weighed down. I feel like, like we already said, she never really had the chance to express the way that she wanted to express in her actual life, in the present moment. She was always on lockdown in every moment. It was a mental prison. It was just a mental prison. A friend knows something. A friend knows something. And then this came out. On the table, offer, proposal, commitment. It reminded me of that other card we had. Where is it? The meeting card. You remember, don't you? It's buried, but it's in here, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. Yeah. And remember, the meeting came out with trapped. Something strange, some strange phenomena took place. Something completely off base from what we would think it is, because we definitely need to step out of our comfort zone uh, to understand what happened to John Benet Ramsey. You guys, it's nothing like what we. Th think happened is the energy I'm getting from her right now. I think that she's told us pretty much everything, you guys. There was someone involved. A friend knows something. There are a lot of details that are hidden from us. We don't know. A lot of the fake news out there. Uh, making it hard to tell what's real, what's not. I feel like it was a cult-like kind of atmosphere for her. One where she's definitely being watched a lot. Uh, she gave us these two together as a message of what was taking place as well. This was her life, you guys. She's, 
She's glad to be protected now. She wants justice. Hmm. Yeah, and with... We got all these cards. The alien, the intergalactic travel. Yeah. There was definitely some level of mind control or something. We also got the cult, surveillance, child, and perversion. So, yeah. The whole family is involved somehow. In the meeting, in the commitment to what took place. I'm thinking... We also got the egotism card. This is like... How do I want to explain it? It's like what I was saying with this and the assassination card. It's like, they think it's good. What we think is bad, they think is good for some reason. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I think that pretty much tells us I'm going to try pulling just one last card from this deck to see if there's any last message about the actual, her case. The victim was stalked by the killer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, you guys. That was pretty much it for the message on what happened here. So, definitely someone who had their eyes on... Jean Benet for quite some time. Someone who... I don't know. There was some kind of mind control taking place in some way. Somehow. I, don't, I just... I can't quite pin down if the mind control aspect was on John Bonet herself? I think so. Or was it on her whole family? Which is a possibility. I don't know. Let's go back to John Bonet's deck and see if she wants to give us a final message before we say goodbye. All right. It says, luck is on your side. Take time to breathe out. And this one is also full moon in cancer, you guys. And this one says, a personal issue reaches resolution. Oh, this other one was New Moon in Cancer. The personal issue reaches resolution. It's possible that this case isn't closed. It's possible that maybe there will be some kind of new information coming out, maybe. Since a friend out there knows something. And obviously someone did it. Maybe at some point those important details that are being hidden will come to light. I guess 
We just for now have to exhale. And know that John Bonet is in a better place right now than she was. That's for sure. So thank you, thank you, thank you, John Bonet Ramsey, for being here and for telling us what really happened to you, for tapping into the energy of what happened and giving us a little insight into why this took place. And now it's time to release you to go back to the energy from where you came. So now, Jean Benet Ramsey, I release you to go back to the energy from where you came. I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>